Welcome back my friends to another episode. Today I'm sharing with you my five favorite places to take engagement photos here in sunny Santa Barbara, California. So let's dive in. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is James Whitty. My wife, Jess, and I run a company called James and Jess, and we have been full-time destination wedding photographers for myself a decade, and for just 15 years, we photographed over 350 weddings all over the world, and now we get to travel the world and be here on YouTube and on our website and teach fellow creative entrepreneurs and photographers like yourself how to thrive in business, thrive in life, make more money in business, and if you want to, travel the world while doing it. And in the spirit of travel and destination today, I'm sharing with you my five favorite places to photograph couples in Santa Barbara, California. These are all very accessible places and right now I wanted to give you a resource that I actually made a freaking awesome resource. So if you just click the link below this video, I made a download for you that maps out all the addresses of these places, the pros and cons, how to get there, and all of my favorite things about each location that I'm gonna discuss with you right now. But if you wanna download that, it's gonna be the easiest way for you to look find those places and use that resource uh, to help you have an epic engagement session or senior portrait session or whatever it is, whatever you're photographing. So without any further ado, let's begin. Location number one is the Santa Barbara Courthouse. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking courthouse, huh? Doesn't sound, that doesn't sound beautiful. Well, if you're thinking that's because you've never seen our courthouse. In fact, I believe it's the 10th most, it's one of the most photographed buildings in the country, and I'm gonna show you right now and you'll see why. It's absolutely beautiful. In my opinion, it's the most beautiful courthouse I've ever seen, at least in the States. And it is three stories, there's a giant clock tower on top, and it is lush, white building, clay rooftops, full of greenery, there's gardens, there's stairs, there's architecture everywhere, there's pillars, it's just unbelievable. And this is one of the reasons we love photographing here. You're allowed to photograph there, it's public. And what I suggest doing is starting on one end of the property, and throughout your shoot, just make a big loop around the entire property, and you're gonna find so many vignettes and corners and just amazing places to photograph where it looks like you're probably photographing at two or three locations because it's just so epic. And when it is open, at the times it's open, you can actually go inside and take the elevator to the clock tower on top and there's an epic lookout where you can get those wide angle shots of the entire city. It is stunning. Even if you're not photographing, I suggest going there, but it is one of my all time favorite places to photograph in Santa Barbara. So location number one, Santa Barbara, courthouse. Location number two is Butterfly Beach. If you've seen any of mine and Jess's work, then I can almost guarantee you you've seen Butterfly Beach because it's the beach we photograph at most. It's where we get those epic cotton candy sunsets and all the beauty of the beach here in Southern California. It's Butterfly Beach. It's my favorite beach to photograph. And one of the reasons I really love this is I love photographing at all beaches, but one of the caveats when you're photographing at the beach is you kind of don't have any other change of scenery. It's the beach, which is epic and beautiful, but if you wanted to have one location and wanted it to not just look like the beach, this is one of the reasons I love Butterfly Beach, because right against the beach where you park is this beautiful wall. It's like this tan cement wall that's amazing. At the very end is this big cypress tree. There's all this grass, and then there's stairs that lead down against this wall and then into the beach. So we usually start the shoot up near the wall, walking across it, and then we make our way down to the beach for sunset, and then once it sunsets, turn around and get those pink cotton candy skies. That's why I love Butterfly Beach. It's an epic beach, beautiful sunsets, and there's a huge change of scenery five feet from the actual sand. So second location in Santa Barbara, Butterfly Beach. Number three, and Santa Barbara kind of has this knack for making really gorgeous spaces and places and things, and all up the coast are the missions here in California, and Santa Barbara's mission is known to be the most beautiful, and you'll see why right here. And so location number three is the Santa Barbara Mission and the Rose Gardens. It is this two-part venue where you have this beautiful, epic mission, and on the stairs you can turn around and see the beach. It's kind of up on this little 
hill up from downtown. And then in front of that mission is this massive lawn called the Rose Gardens, because at the very end are just all of these roses. And when they're in bloom, it's beautiful. And you can't really go into the mission uh, for photos without permission and permits and all that. But just on the outskirts, if you just walk around the Rose Gardens and up the park and just to the outside of the mission, it's beautiful. And that's kind of the best part Anyways, so location number three is the Santa Barbara mission paired with the Rose Gardens, which is just right outside of the mission. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely epic, and just a stunning location for photos. Location number four is the Douglas Family Preserve. This is actually a public park, except it's located on a bluff and cliffs that overlook the beach. A lot of things here in Santa Barbara overlook the beach. And this is one of the reasons we get that amazing golden light 24 seven is because it's against that beach. So every night when the sun's out, it's reflecting off the ocean and it is beautiful. And you kind of get the best of both worlds here where you get that epic beachy golden light, even cotton candy skies, except you're up on a cliff on this bluff. So it is a public park. And as you approach, it's covered in eucalyptus trees, depending on the time of year, there's fields of wildflowers, and there's bougainvillea that's bright red and pink that you can shoot against, and it all ends on the beach. So you have this lookout, and it's on this bluff overlooking the beach, and you get those sunsets. So it's a really diverse place to photograph. It's very raw, it's a park, it's open, it's very uncurated. So if you're looking for a woodsy area, this is an amazing spot. Also, it's an off-leash, most of the places in here are off-leash dog park as well. So if you have pups you're trying to photograph or somehow get involved in that session, this is an amazing option too. And you can always make your way down. There's a path on the back of it that goes down to the beach. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly, maybe like a 10 minute walk from there, which isn't bad, but depending on who you're with, if they're adventurous and want, you can start on the bluff and make your way down to the beach. But we usually just photograph before shooting there, just on that bluff because it's, epic and there's so much to offer up there. So location number four, Douglas Family Preserve. And last but not least, and it's probably my personal favorite, maybe because I live about 40 steps from here, but it is State Street and the Funk Zone. Santa Barbara's main street that goes just through downtown is called State Street. I live about 50 feet from State Street and it's just this beautiful street that is, we have a building code in Santa Barbara that is all white buildings, clay rooftops, and they can't be more than three stories um, max. And I, I live on a third story of one of the bigger buildings and it's tiny compared to almost every other city. And that walks all the way down to the beach. And once you go under this underpass, it opens up to what we call the funk zone. And it's where all the shops and wineries and bars and it's like urban tasting rooms and it's just absolutely stunning. So what we do is when we're shooting there, we start on State Street, we walk down and get all these vignettes of State Street and Bougainvillea and architecture and arches and all these things. And then it opens up into this epic, just playground, urban playground of beauty that again is against the beach. And there are pink walls, there's restaurants with fun murals, there's lush greenery and palm trees everywhere. Just one of my most favorite places, one to be, just to be there uh, and especially to photograph there. Just like three or four days ago, we did another session there and it just revamped how much I love this town, which never goes away. But you know when you're photographing somewhere and you're just like, yes, this is what I love about it. So that's location number five, State Street and, and the Funk Zone. You can do one or the other, but you can also pair it together really well and they kind of overlap in places. What my suggestion to you is, is take a walk down State Street and then just loop around the Funk Zone. And we usually meet our couples at a bar down there if we're shooting there, because there's so many epic bars. And then we'll just hop around. There's all kinds of things to see. So just go explore it. There's no one or two places there that are like these spots. There's just so much. So those are the five locations that I love photographing engagement sessions at in Santa Barbara. The Santa Barbara Courthouse, not just a courthouse, absolutely beautiful. Butterfly Beach with the wall and the beach and the trees, absolutely epic. The Santa Barbara Mission and Rose Gardens, Douglas Family Preserve, and of course, State Street and the Funk Zone. And like I said, I made this awesome download because I want you guys to experience Santa Barbara. I want you to photograph beautiful couples and beautiful 
photography here and, and take epic photos. So if you just hit the link below, there is a download for you that gives you all the addresses, all the little caveats about being there and some fun suggestions and photo examples of where to photograph and just ideas for you. So when you come to Santa Barbara or if you live in Santa Barbara, you can start taking epic engagement photos. That's all I got for you today, you guys. Thank you so much. If you have photographed in Santa Barbara before, maybe it's one of those locations, will you let me know in the comments where and if it's a new location, where else you like in Santa Barbara. And you can even, if it's a blog post or photos, I'd love to see them. Until next time, my friends, know that you are capable of great and amazing things, and I will see you in the next episode.